If you guys want to use uh, this particular server, I'm only letting a couple hundred. The first come, first serve. You guys have to ask me if I don't in, if I don't invite you inside. Show some love still. Uh, don't be offended if I if I turn you guys down. But feel free to email me if there's slots available. I'll, I'll share it with you guys. Uh, again, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk of why I'm going from uh, Plex to Jellyfin. I thought I would show you guys a little something new. Welcome back to iTrust Stream. If this is your first time, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And make sure to comment below because for the next few videos, I'm going to be doing random giveaways. Shout out to Joyce Jackson. Uh, Joyce Jackson is the winner of the Buzz TV XRS 4500 Max. Man, that's a long name. But yeah, uh, congratulations. You are the winner. Uh, your comment is right here. Shout out to you. Uh, thank you for being such a subscriber. I did look back just to make sure that you didn't win one of these before. I did look back and you've been a subscriber of mine for a long time. So I just wanted to say thank you that you said that you would like to take a sweet ride in my Corvette. <laughs> Tells me that you're a follower of my Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram or my uh, my car page, you guys can go down to the link inside the description and maybe I'll give you guys a follow back. Maybe. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic uh, week. I know it's been kind of random. I've been uh, busy with a lot of projects over here, and I wanted to uh, give you guys an opportunity to win win a free month of the Volt VPN, which is today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the Volt VPN. A lot of people ask me what uh, VPN service I use. I use the Volt VPN. The reason why is they have great customer service. They're fantastic. They're affordable. They give you five connections and also no IP logging. As soon as you reach those five connections, you can share with your friends and family members. It doesn't go. It doesn't track IP. It doesn't store your information. They simply redirect your IP address to one of their servers. You change your IP address. That's it. Check out some of the prices below. Super super affordable prices for a fantastic product. You can install this on your on your Fire Stick, your Nvidia Shield, your TiVo, your MacBook Pro your PC, your Linux box. There, there is so many different options that they do offer. So make sure to go ahead and check it out. They do have a plan going on for $3.33, two years. That locks you in for two years. They have fantastic prices. Go ahead and check them out below, guys. Today we're talking about how my Plex server is gonna be switching over for the holidays at least, going over to Jellyfin. A lot of people ask why. <laughs> Not a lot of people, a couple people. And when I say a couple people, it's the people that are in the comment section. They're asking me, what do I like about Plex? Why am I still using Plex? You've talked about Jellyfin. Are you actively using Jellyfin? So I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, little demonstration of what Jellyfin does look like. Um, uh, people uh, were, that were using the Halloween M3U, we did take that down just due to the fact that it was shared over 2000 different users all at the same time. What I ended up doing, so I took it all off that one and I, uh, I loaded it on a, um, on a Jellyfin server. So I've been using that, sharing it with some friends and family, uh, watching some Halloween movies on Jellyfin. So I'm, I'm using this as a demonstration. You guys mastered the Plex stuff. Let's go ahead and jump over here with uh, Jellyfin and kind of see uh, if we can get our, our, our feet wet because why limitations? And Jellyfin has no limitations whatsoever, but that comes with cost. And I'll talk about that in, in a later video. So let's go ahead and check. The what do I have? What do I have? Let's go load this on the Fire Stick. Load it on the Fire Stick. Most of you guys have Fire Sticks at home, so let's do that. Here we go. And you're gonna go ahead and type in my code. My code's free for you to use. You don't need a pen, just the code. 323-64318. Go ahead and press continue. It's gonna give you a quick notification. Again, that uh, VPN deal uh, is only $3.33 for two years. Right here, I put it right here at the very top. Uh, this video is only going to be up for the next couple of weeks, anyways. Once that is done, you go ahead and press. You just click on that. You're going to press install. It's going to load Jellyfin. And again, so a, a, a quick just rundown. If you guys are not familiar with Jellyfin, Jellyfin is a like a forked version of MB. Now, back in the day on iTrust Stream. We talked about MB, we talked about bacon feet, we talked about these other providers uh, that you were able to pay people um, to hop on their own server. Over the time, we've talked about Plex, we were able to teach you guys how to get your own Plex content, uh, host your Plex on your home computer, on your own seed box, or you can even buy a Linux server uh, real, real cheap 
with Jellyfin, Jellyfin it has complete open limitation. Uh, and I took out those restrictions from Envy. And uh, I wanted to kind of show you guys the layout. It, it's very snappy, it's very quick. And I want to encourage people to kind of explore with Jellyfin. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. So uh, I use the I use the Halloween playlist uh, inside the server to kind of give it like a def, a rough demonstration. I am in, I am in the process of moving my Plex all the way over to Jellyfin. I'm taking everything off of Plex, move it all the way over to Jellyfin, and I'm going to do this for the holidays um, to kind of see what I like, what I don't like. So I can kind of like report back to you guys uh, what the pros and cons of what my experience is going, coming from Plex going over to Jellyfin. Now, uh, there are no limitations when it comes to Jellyfin. We're going to go into that. This is a demo line. Uh, we're going to go over here to My Media. Uh, live television is also another unlocked version uh, where you're able to add your own M3U list. So if you do have an IPTV service that you like to use, or you're good at modifying your M3, your M3U list, I can show you guys how to modify M3Us. Just gotta let me know what you guys like to see. Uh, you go to your recorded TV, your series, all that. So live television, 100% free. Um, if you do have a paid IPTV service. So over here, there's collections. You can, uh, you can build different collections. You can build, um, different categories. So we're going to go over here to like collections. And then, so say you wanted to watch like child's play or something like that. It, it selects all the child's play movies, like ch all the Chucky movies, which is really cool. The backgrounds, final destination, Halloween town, a lot of people's favorites, you know, a lot of stuff that like, they like to watch. And look how the background moves. Look how clean that looks. Hostile it. How cool is that? How sinister that? So you click on it. You can uh, favorite it. It'll go to your favorites tab. It gives your cast and crew. You can go to different chapters. And it, right here, what I love about this is that it will give you like a, a uh, suggestion of what's more related to it. So go over here to play. Boom. Loads nice. 1080p. And then as you go over your main list, so it breaks up to like your latest, your your collections. This is like all items, so you can kind of scroll through. And what once you start playing stuff, uh, it kind of learns what you like, what you don't like, so it can suggest different things uh, to you. Uh, you can go over here by uh, Jarna, and then it already breaks it up: uh, action, adventure, animation, comedy crime, drama, I guess these are considered Edward Scissorhands. But that's what's what's great about uh, MB is that it kind of breaks that up. I feel like it, that this could learn a little bit more of what I like to watch. Um, TV movie, see, look at that. So it does take all this stuff from IMBD and um, it kind of, uh, it, it takes all your backgrounds, all that stuff, so. This is really cool. Moving over to Plex, I feel like I can do the most I could possibly do with Plex. I want to feel like a little bit more creative freedom when I do mess around with stuff. So in the meantime, I'm gonna mess around with uh, with uh, with Jellyfin. And look, this is suggested because you watched it. Now it's suggesting these, which is so super cool. And then I don't know if you guys want to see videos like this, but I can show you guys how to load Linux servers how to deploy like Docker. Um, if you're trying to ever create like a Jellyfin subscription service or like an MB subscription service, even a Plex subscription service for other people, things to look into when it comes to bandwidth, uh, what to look out for when you're shopping for servers, uh, when you're on a one gig network, how many actual people that you can share your links to uh, under you know 1080p, how many 1080p streams can you stream off of 
a one gig network versus a 10 gig network versus a 20 gig network with perf uh, before transcoding what is transcoding if you guys want to learn stuff like that i want to be a little bit more intimate without like having to be live i guess uh we can definitely do sessions um maybe over zoom or something you know a lot of people have done the, that paid uh, you know paid youtube you know bs that you know, charge you people for content. I'm never gonna charge you guys when it comes to stuff like this. I wanna teach you guys because this is what I like doing. I mean, I like teaching this stuff. So if you guys wanna use uh, this particular server, I'm only letting a couple hundred. The first come first serve, you guys have to ask me. If I don't, in, if I don't invite you inside, guys, please, you know, you know, show some love still because I can't host it. I can't host that many people without, without breaking it because this is not on a, a massive server. This is on, this is only on a one gig server right now. So let me know. Uh, don't be offended if I, if I turn you guys down, but feel free to email me if there's slots available. I'll, I'll share it with you guys. Uh, again, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk of why I'm going from uh, Plex to Jellyfin. I thought I would show you guys a little something new. Talk to you guys in a little bit.